hold the MF and press, okay? Because not there is a Kayali fragrance that I love at first sniff. Shocking. <laughs> What up? So you guys, today I wanted to bring y'all my thoughts and a little mini review on the two new Kayali fragrance launches. You have the Silk Santal and then you have the Velvet Santal. Now listen, I had to pick up these fragrances. One, because I really like the concept and the message behind it. Like these fragrances really represent their wedding day, the attire that they wore on their wedding day and just love in general, like a celebration of love in general. So one, that intrigued me a lot. And then also um, the scent note for the Silk Santal really intrigued me it has a lot of scent notes that I really like and I really enjoy so I was like please don't let them mess this one up please because y'all know I am not a fan of Kaoli fragrances and then I also went ahead and just picked up the travel size of the Velvet Santal just because I, I really wanted to give it a go I feel like it's a step in a good direction for them to start introducing men's fragrances. So I wanted to have it to like really give it a try and give it my full thoughts. And I know that they said that you can wear these fragrances together. You can layer them and everything. That's how the brand is. So I kind of wanted to have just a little mini size of this one to see what it's all about. So these are the fragrances. The bottle, I had to get this fragrance for the bottle alone. First of all, because this bottle is just sexy this bottle is perfection i always thought that the kayali fragrance bottles were very very pretty very very luxe very very nice but this one and it's supposed to emulate her wedding dress like how her wedding dress was so i really really like these shimmery falling effects to kind of mimic like silk or champagne sparkliness it's just so pretty i love this packaging okay and then here is the mini of the velvet santal which y'all can see i have been using this one so i have some thoughts um, I've actually been using this one a little bit more than this one because I had to really get my thoughts together on this one. This one was an instant love, like first spray. It was an instant love. So I didn't really need to get my thoughts together too much on this one. But yeah, so let's talk about it. This is a 50 ml bottle and I will put the scent notes right here so that you guys can see um, what we have. The breakdown of this fragrance, you guys listen not me loving a kayali fragrance off first sniff that is unheard of okay so for the scent notes um what they have on the back of the fragrance you have sparkling champagne white freesia pink praline lush nectarine sandalwood and sugared musk okay you guys y'all see these scent notes right so on first sniff immediately what i get is a sparkling effervescent black currant scent i could smell the black currant immediately when i spray this fragrance i am just so versed in black currant fragrances now i just when i smell the scent note i know it and i love it and y'all know why i know it and love it because my favorite scent of all time starts off with that black currant i get the same just fruity black currant note from this when I spray it. So I love the opening. I love it so, so much. Like I said, I get that effervescent sparkling champagne. It's beautiful. Okay. And then I get those white florals. Listen, the freesia in this is not bad at all. I actually feel like I get more of the jasmine in this. I don't really think there's a huge difference between like freesia and jasmine, but honestly, I feel like I smell the jasmine because once again, this perfume has a very similar DNA to my favorite fragrance, Valentino Donna Born in Rome. It has a very similar DNA and I feel like I smell those scent notes in this fragrance. Um, along with that, I also smell the praline super heavy in this. It's, I think that's what's giving it the vanilla 28 vibe. It has praline, it has vanilla, it has sugar, but it smells so good. I'm not complaining about that because I love that more in this. Y'all know Vanilla 28 is not one of my favorite fragrances. It's not a bad scent. It's just not one of my favorites. I like this composition more because this is not trying to be a gourmand. It's not claiming to be a gourmand, you know? So I kind of like that praline, sugar, vanilla combination in this perfume more. This perfume does give silky. This perfume does give like just classy, pretty, delicate, dainty, special. Like this fragrance does give that for me in my opinion. Is it my perfect wedding scent? Absolutely not. 
absolutely not y'all know what my perfect wedding scent is but is this super pretty can i see a bride wearing this can i see this being used for a special occasion can i see this being used every day absolutely you can wear this fragrance honestly whenever you want because it's just very it's very pretty and like i said it's very classy and classic so i really like the breakdown of this fragrance i think that they did a phenomenal job it really embodies what they were trying to go for just like a special day scent a pretty scent a pretty wedding day fragrance i do think that they embodied it with the scent notes i really do like it like the more that it dries down on my skin um the more that i start to get a little bit of that muskiness but just like the notes say it's, it's a sugared musk like it's, it's sugary i definitely get the vanilla the sugar the musk it's not too, too woody, but I definitely can get more of a woodsy note from it after it dries down. I've had this on my skin for a few hours now, so um, I really do like it. I sprayed a little bit more just to really get like the initial blast of this fragrance, but I'm telling y'all, this fragrance is beautiful. And I feel like this is for how I look today. I feel like this is the perfect fragrance for me to wear. It's just super pretty. This is, this is A1. I really do enjoy that fragrance. So now we can talk about Velvet Santal. Would definitely much rather smell this on a man. Like 100% I would rather smell this on him. But this scent isn't bad at all. I really love the opening of this fragrance. I have sprayed it on my skin before. I'm not going to spray it right now because I'm already wearing silk. But I have sprayed this on my skin before and I love the opening. The opening with that tea and that jasmine, it smells so, so good. Um, Not too musky. It really gives me a nice herbal kind of earthy type of scent that's really really pretty and I like it the dry down is what I don't like about this fragrance I feel like the dry down has something a little off um something a little bit just mm, it's, it's not sitting right on my skin and I feel like that's just my body chemistry I don't know if it's the benzoin and the sandalwood together or the benzoin the sandalwood and the musk because the green tea and the jasmine in the beginning is beautiful and then it just takes a turn somewhere and I don't really like it anymore after it settles down on my skin so while this is a beautiful fragrance like I said it's not for me I would much rather smell this on a man I would definitely definitely love to smell him in this on like a date night or something even a casual date this is a really pretty fragrance and I also really love the bottle of this one I'm sad that the little um mini came in like this bottle instead of like the black packaging because like give us the fancy packaging okay but again I am really happy to have this in my collection I don't know if I'm a I don't know if I'm gonna have me a little boo to get this to but you know I'm happy to have it in my collection I'm actually really happy with this purchase this is the best purchase that i've ever had from kayali y'all know i have tried her fragrances this is the absolute best purchase like i couldn't be happier with this fragrance and i'm actually shocked that i do like this one just not in the dry down but these y'all might want to run and get these okay because these these are doing it and i'm shocked i can't i cannot believe it i will be wearing this a lot i will be getting some use out of this y'all know i will have some combinations with this she's pretty she's a pretty girl okay nice and feminine and like i said beautiful it embodies all of that so very very happy with kayali the wedding silk santal longevity on both of these is pretty decent it's okay um after like four to six hours i feel like I kind of have to go searching for it, but I'm pretty sure if I were to create a win or, you know, somebody was in passing, I'm pretty sure they would still be able to smell it. Um, it does die down a little bit, so I don't think your scent bubble is as big as it is when you first spray it, but I can say this, okay? When I first spray Silk Santal, I feel like it definitely is a lot stronger and a lot bigger of a bubble than um, the Vanilla 28 was. So like I said, because this one smells similar to Vanilla 28, kind of gives me that vibe. That's why I'm mentioning that fragrance's longevity. Um, this one, I feel like when I first spray it, it gives a huge blast. My scent bubble is pretty big. And then like I said, around the four to six hour mark, it dies down. I don't think the fragrance is completely gone at that time. Definitely not. I'm pretty sure somebody else would still be able to smell this on me. Of course, it lingers and lasts on clothes. And also this fragrance does uh, well in the heat as well. So this is a good choice for like fragrances in the heat. And it's the same thing with the Velvet Santal, even though this is... I guess a unisex fragrance i don't know if it's actually geared towards the male fragrance realm but regardless even if it's considered a unisex fragrance i think this one lasts about the same amount of time so this is not like a strong heavy cologne i feel like 
men's cologne tend to last longer than women perfumes anyway but this one to me doesn't seem to last any longer than silk scent house so i don't know but yeah this one is 46 hours as well until like i, I kind of have to go looking for it i don't know if i'm exactly going nose blind to it or if it's just settling down but yeah this one is 46 hours as well let me know if you guys picked up these fragrances because i need to know i've been seeing a couple of reviews but i haven't watched them because i just wanted to have my own thoughts um but yeah that's how i feel about the fragrance so let me know if you guys have picked this one up if you're gonna pick it up if you're waiting for my review because baby this is telling you to go get it okay leave me a comment down below if you're new thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace